Hi, I'm Eric Johansson, author of Way More Than a Bed on Stilts. I have 30 years experience designing, building, woodworking, and managing property. I've been making loft beds on the side for a long time. I have improved and refined them in many ways so that what I build now barely resembles those earliest loft beds. Every improvement solved a specific problem. Just check out some of these accessory options I've designed. Take the attached bedside table for example. This is so cool and practical, you need this. Where else will you keep your clock radio or personal fan? I haven't seen this anywhere else. Here are two different built-in desk options with matching bookshelf above. Either of these doubles the function of your bed space and every successful student knows that you need a personal study space. Or look at this built-in bureau. It holds a lot of folded clothes and linens. If you build it with the open shelves, it can hold large containers or filing tubs. This can help you tame your personal paper blizzard. Likewise, the tub stacker. It's quick, easy, cheap to make. You can organize a lot of files with this. Look at all these clothes hanging options. If you're short on closet space, one of these could improve your life. And notice how some are added beside and not just under. This really enhances the functionality of a small room. You know, you could fit two of these loft beds in a larger room. The book also instructs how to build drawers and containers and storage ideas and more. My point is, the more accessory options you have to choose from, the better your small room solution can be. And you can have them all, because plans and instructions for all of them are included. I think of the frame as the heart and soul of a loft bed. Everything grows out from that. It should have strong bones and an attractive appearance. It should also be reliably safe. There are safety standards that apply. This frame design exceeds those standards. No one should accidentally roll out of this bed. And there's plenty to hold on to while climbing in or out. I figure, what's a few dollars in material savings compared to a life or an injury? I personally enjoy the natural beauty of real wood and the sculptural quality of good design. So I naturally gravitated to these forms and finishes. The form really does follow the function. I think the result is an attractive appearance without the nursery cuteness. You can be proud you own this. Another of my loft bed improvements is durability. Quality lasts more than a year. You can reuse this loft bed several years and hand it down. I call that a green idea. It saves our money and our natural resources. I made this thing strong. I dare you to try this with another loft bed. If it doesn't have a sturdy braced frame, it won't take it. Braces are necessary to maintain structural integrity. You need to understand that time and repeated use accomplishes that same weakening or structural fatigue to an unbraced frame. That's why you see so many discarded loft beds in the college junk pile every year. That is not green. We can do better. The biggest difference in what I'm offering though is instructions. If you're at all handy, you can actually build this. These detailed instructions walk you through every step of the way. Previous advanced experience isn't required, nor the million dollar woodworking shop either. So please, check out the facts for yourself. Make your comparisons, be a wise consumer. I think you'll agree that what I'm offering is way more than a typical bed on stilts.